Okay, next organism we'll talk about um, is um, Trichomonas vaginalis. This is not an intestinal infection. Instead, it is urogenital infection. And more often, females are infected with that. Male may be carriers and may, may cause urethritis occasionally in males, but they're very, very rare among males. But females are carriers. And mild infection may remain um, asymptomatic. Um, it's a human parasite only, and uh, um, it is uh, observed that the prostitute and female inmates, uh, prison inmates, may have a very, very high uh, infection rate. And uh, I've had one or two nurses in the class, ex-nurses in the class, and they say they have seen the cases in the okay, STD clinic. Often you will see it in STD clinic. Um, as a matter of fact, you know, even the student's health center, um, somebody I knew working there, and they said they have seen cases of um, trichom uh, trichomoniasis. Um, it's worldwide. About 5% of normal population maybe may get infection. Now that's the sort of, you know, average or, uh, incidence. But uh, very, very high percentage of uh, female prostitutes and um, inmates, uh, prison inmates, uh, will, be, will be infected. Mild infections rarely, you know, are asymptomatic. The mild among the males, I told you that this, uh, if they do get infected, they're asymptomatic, therefore there's no need to treat them, uh, or they, they are not treated. Occasionally they may suffer mild urethritis or prostatitis. Uh, women, they uh, often are symptomatic if the infection is mild. Um, um, or they may have severe vaginitis and heavier infection, inflammation, irritation of vaginal uh, surfaces. Uh, copious, one of the features of this copious foul smelling uh, yellow discharge is a characteristic feature of that. Uh, growth of um, organism favors a high pH a relatively high pH, above the physiological pH, the normal range of the vaginal um, uh, environment, normal pH is around 3.5 to 4.5, around there. And the organisms do not, do not uh, multiply, replicate under those conditions, okay, if one is infected, and therefore the uh, infection does not become symptomatic, okay? And that's an important point because any douches or treatment that uh, lower the pH are very helpful. We will see that later. Okay, here's a sort of a non-descriptive picture of the discharge. Okay, the organism is uh, not quite like uh, uh, G G G Giardia. It's more sort of more rounded, okay, blunt, but it is still uh, pear-shaped. I've got a drawing of it somewhere. If you look at this over here, that's more characteristic feature. Um, it has got unilateral, it's not bilaterally symmetrical like, um, um, like um, Giardia, okay? And the, uh, I think the a drawing will be probably, here's a more representative stained slide. Okay, there's an undulating member, there's a, the, the flagellum that traverses towards the posterior, um, there is a, um, there is a, um, it's attached to the body. It travels almost a halfway only to the body. Okay, that's this, uh, further along there. Over here as well, it sort of attaches to the side of the body. Okay, and that's referred to as undulating membrane, wavy uh, membrane. Uh, again, the contrast is, of course, unilateral. There's only one nucleus axis and the axis style there. And here's a drawing of it. You can see that vaginal is only up to here. Um, there are no posterior flagellae around here. There are four flagellae here, okay? Ah, I'm, I'm actually 
Yes, that is uh, Trichomonas vaginalis. And there is a similar organism that's a commensal in the gut. Okay, and therefore, in this, if you were taking just a specimen, uh, a specimen not a discharge, um, uh, by a wipe or some other means, it, uh, they, there may be a contamination with, uh, with this organism, and you can distinguish that from the more rounded, not only more rounded, but most importantly, the flagellum, uh, flagellum is attached almost to the full length of the body. Okay, so that, that's the distinguishing feature one has. And that, that the organism here, depicted here, is Trichomonas um, um, hominis. So hominis is not infective, uh, not symptomatic, not pathogenic, whereas Trichomonas vaginalis is um, pathogenic. Prevention, personal hygiene, use of condom for just like any other uh, uh, sexually transmitted disease. And treatment is, uh, again, metronidazole. So as you have seen that, iroquinol and metronidazole are almost uni universal there, uh, except those two opportunistic uh, infections where paramycin was one of them. And um, no, TMP was the other one. Okay. All right. Intestinal and urogenital protozoa a summary you've got at the end of your handout. There's a summary of it that describes what the uh, organism, what which organism produces, what sort of, uh, uh, what is the transmission mode of those organisms, what the symptoms are, major symptoms are, in a non-descriptive style uh, they are presented, and what is the diagnostic material, and what one can see in that diagnostic material, and what the treatment is, and you can, once you have studied and if you want to review it, you can use that table. Okay? Okay. So that, that uh, concludes.